On Friday, we had a call from a concerned listener, Quentin Reeves. He lives on Connor Crescent in Caboolture, and it's been a construction zone for, for a new housing development since 2020. Now, since then, he's been at loggerheads with council and the developer over noise and dust complaints, but the problems recently turned dangerous when contractors lost control of what appears to be a pressure hose, and it then flicked metal shards into his front yard at lightning speed. And it was 10 minutes after his wife and daughter were out there. We've got the footage of this and photos of the shrapnel. You'll be able to see it on our 4BC social media channels to know exactly what I'm talking about. But let me be really clear. Well, thankfully, no one was injured. Um, but it, it was extraordinary. It was like being in a war zone. There were metal shards uh, in the front yard, um, they were coming at lightning speed. It was it was crazy stuff, and it's the final straw for Quentin. He joins me on the line now. Quentin, are you there? Yeah, mate. Thanks. Uh, you summed it up quite nicely there. We briefly went through what you've experienced, but just take me back to what happened on Saturday, March 16. Well, you know, as you might know, March 16th was local government election day, so the day started out for my wife and I going down to the local voting office and putting in our vote for not Adam Hayne. And we came home, sat around for a bit, and then my wife had to go out and take the kids to see their grandmother for the day. Nice opportunity for me to sit back and relax, you know. Mm. Um. I'm sitting here and I'm doing some programming on my computer and I just hear this explosion outside. And I go outside and I hear the, the chick look, yell out, oh, you gave the grass a nice water there. And I'm like, yeah, it's not a workplace health and safety incident or anything. Little did I know, I went back and looked at the CCTV footage and they had actually lost control of that hose, like, completely. She had run off and hid behind another neighbour's house. Oh, my goodness. So she knew how dangerous it was. And it could have shattered your windows, your doors, the car windscreen. I mean, I've had a look at the video, and I'll tell you what, Quentin, yeah. Yeah, you know, you guys dodged a bullet there. That would have, that could have killed someone, That the way that hose was out of control. And it was emitting shards of steel, shrapnel. Yeah, it's a heavy galvanised steel because it was like an industrial strength hose used for this kind of work. Like you need an accredited hose to be able to interface with the hydrant systems. So how many pieces of debris are we talking about here? Um, I have recovered at least five that are approximately five centimetres in length. I did witness the plumber at the time. He was trying to cover up the incident, so he went around picking it up. Uh, I saw him pick up at least four pieces up his end of the area. And here's the thing, mate. They didn't notify Workplace Health and Safety. They tried to cover it up, and there's been no consequences for it. All right, so I've got a, I've got a um, statement here from the Moreton Bay Regional Council, and I'll just read it out. It's noted from your complaint that you hold the view that council is lawfully obliged to take enforcement action against the developer for your protection. They say this is not the case. Any enforcement action that council takes under the EP Act is discretionary and council officers have to date declined to take enforcement action. So what sort of action have, have you taken to get answers? Because clearly the council want nothing to do with it. I have done ev absolutely everything short of taking everyone to court myself because I don't have the money for it. I'm on disability, mate. Okay. Well, take us back. I've been to uh, government agencies. I've been to the Ombudsman. I've been to the Human Rights Commission. I've been to my MP, Mark Ryan, who just ignores me. And this has been for three years. I've been trying to sound the alarm because I knew the inevitable would happen. Okay, so take us back to 2020. How's it been affecting your life? What? Give me some examples of how you know this um, development beside you is making your life hell. Well, just things like. Uh, totally blocking our driveway for up to four to five hours at a time and just not giving a crap if we want to get out. Uh, we've had heavy construction equipment go down the street like graders and smooth drum soil compactors, what people might know as our steam rollers, and they're just going down the street, no traffic control, no people doing spotting, just something that could run over my kids because nobody's doing the right thing. But this is the final straw from your perspective, so you're going to go full bore to try and get this sorted before someone get hurts, gets hurt. Yeah, mate. 
I'm pounding the pavement, basically. I'm trying to get something done because there needs to be a reform. There's no accountability here in Queensland anymore. The Labor government has withered down these laws to the point where they don't work anymore. Okay. All right. And what about your your wife and, and, and daughter? Uh, how are they? I mean, they would have been completely shocked when they got back. Oh, my, I sent the wife the footage while she was at her mother's and, like, she couldn't believe it. Yeah. I just, when she got home, all I could do was hug her, like, you know, yeah. you could have died. Yeah, I could have lost you. I, I can't imagine why the Moreton Bay Regional Council couldn't take enforcement action because that, to me, is a, is, is a breach of their obligations. Oh, well, under law, there is no requirement for them to do anything. Okay. The legislation doesn't make it so that they have to take any particular action. They don't have to protect the public. They are not accountable to anybody. Okay. Well, the video is already up on 4BC Facebook and Instagram, so I implore uh, our 4BC Drive listeners, you, you've, you've got to have a look at this to, to get an understanding of what we're talking about here and just how dangerous it was. So, um, look, Quentin, thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, keep us up to date on where you go with this because something has to give. They've, there's got to be yeah. a breakthrough in this area. Thanks for getting the word out for me too. No worries at all. There is Quentin Reeves. What do you think? He's, he lives in Connor Crescent there in Caboolture, and it's basically been a construction zone for this new housing development since 2020. And then on um, council election day, he had this incredibly unnerving experience where an out-of-control hose just kept uh, sort of shooting out shrapnel into the air. And if his kids or... Or, or, fa or, or wife had have been in that vicinity, they'd left 10 minutes earlier. There's no doubt at all someone would have got really seriously hurt. How's